All right. Um, in this video, we're going to be taking a peek at two ovals that we um, had narrowed down from another suite of ovals that we had called in for a client and um, boiled it down to these two, uh, which happen to be really uh, uh, spectacularly cut ovals with minimal bow ties. Um, both really bright stones. Uh, this first one that we're looking at that I have in the tweezers is one in the 1.8 range, is an IVS1. Uh, both of these ovals, very similar in their length to width ratio, both of them have ratios um, just a little bit over one and a half to one, which gives them that this beautiful um, oval shape, this ovule shape that they have. Ovals can be very long and thin and be too gaunt, and then they can also be too stubby. These ones here have a beautiful, beautiful ratio, okay? Um, maybe slightly on the longer side, but not too gaunt, all right? So this is the brightness and contrast of this first oval, this 1.8 um, IVS1. The other oval that we're going to be looking at here is um, a little over 2 carats and is an IVVS. Okay, so a really super clean interior. Uh, let me let me get the, a good handle on this guy. Okay, now on this particular oval, um, I, I do favor it a little bit more as I'm looking at it. The bow tie is a little more faint, um, but in, more in particular, the area, the upper region of this oval. And remember, I'm, I'm in asymmetrical lighting here. I'm not in symmetrical, what I would call a symmetrical lighting environment. I'm in like typical office environment. But the upper area of the diamond has a nice brightness to it um, in distribution of light. Okay. You're always going to see contrast. No matter what diamond you're looking at, you're going to see contrast patterns of light and dark imaging or light and dark patterning within a diamond. But this one has some good brightness extending into the tip region, okay? And you'll see, you'll see the same effect when I turn it around, okay? You know, bright, very bright in that upper region, um, minimal bow tie, and a nice looking stone. So, um, of while both of these diamonds are, I wouldn't, you can't shake a stick at either one of them. Um, I do have a slight preference for this two carat. We're going to go look at it in natural daylight also. Um, and before we go into natural daylighting, we're going to take a look in spotlighting. Okay. And since I was holding it in my hand anyway, I ha this is the um, the one a little over two carats. Now, nicely cut ovals. You know, they're, they're going to be primarily um, known for their sparkle scintillation, okay? Oval-shaped diamonds, pear-shaped diamonds, marquee-shaped diamonds, they're not known for big flash when it comes in spotlighting, okay? We're getting some flash there off of the pavilion mains and fire and stuff, but... You, got, you just got to bear that in mind. But anybody looking at ovals generally knows that from the get-go. Okay? And we got plenty of videos online that show the difference in fire and sparkle in ovals versus, say, rounds or princess cuts and uh, or other ones, uh, or cushions or whatever to give more broad flash. So, same situation with this oval as well. Okay? Beautiful internal reflections, beautiful sparkle scintillation, okay, the emphasis on many tinier points of light. Okay, just don't mistake that. That there is glare, so don't mistake that for strong fire. That's um that you'll get that in any diamond that has a table facet. Okay, let's go into stronger spotlighting just for fun before we head to the window. Okay. I, I got them lined up in the tray there. They're pretty, um, they're pretty much facing face up there. Now you'll see in the right hand in the uh, in the right hand diamond. That's the two carat oval. When I hit, when the spotlighting hits it right at the belly, when it's in the per, you know, in that face up view, that's where you're going to get you know some bold flash in an oval. Okay. But like I said <clears throat> in the uh, previous short clip there, um, ovals are primarily known for 
their pin flash and sparkle scintillation. But you can get some um, you can get some broad flash in spotlighting uh, at the belly of a nicely cut oval. Okay, but both of them very beautiful. You, you really got two nice options here. Okay. Trying to put them where you're not getting too much glare on either one. But you got the idea. Alright, let's go over to natural daylight. But both of them performing beautifully in spotlighting and exactly what we would expect out of a nicely cut oval in spotlighting. I'm going to head to the window now and look at these in natural daylight, which is always my favorite, of course. Alrighty. And here are both of these in natural daylighting. Wow. And, um, you know, you can, you can see that the two carat is a little bigger. Although this 1.8 on the left isn't, like, earth-shatteringly more small, I should say. But both of them doing beautiful and performing exactly how I expect in the natural daylight environment. Both of them have nice bright reflections across the belly, which, um, you know, minimizes and reduces bow tie effect tremendously. Both of them nicely proportioned diamonds. Uh, but both very pretty. You may want to look back at the video, turn the audio off, and just let your eyes do the talking as well. Okay. But um, quite, quite honestly, you can't go wrong with either one of these. Both very beautiful. All right. And thank you for watching. I hope this has helped, and um, we'll hear from you in email. You'll email David. Thank you.